uh, <coughs> hello students today we are going to be discuss about the internal reconstruction and uh, also we are going to be solve one problem which is based on the internal reconstruction so problem is here the balance sheet of the kolapur industry limited as on 31st december 2019 was as follows liability side is reflecting the 2011.5 percent preference share of rupees 100 each 2 lakh 4000 equity share of rupees 100 each 4 lakh 16 percent mortgage debenture 1 lakh bank order of 75000 and creditors 75000 all together 8 lakh 50000 is in a total liability assets goodwill 15000 freehold property 2 lakh plan and machinery 3 lakh stock and trade 50000 debtors 40000 and profit and loss account 2 lakh 45000 so asset side is reflecting the 8 lakh 50000 here in this balance sheet the goodwill is there which is an intangible asset and the profit loss account is there which is in a debit balance it means it is a loss so at the end what we have to do that we have to write up the pnl account debit balance which is loss and uh, goodwill through the capital reduction account the company got the following scheme of the capital reduction approved by the court the scheme has been approved by the court the scheme has given the preference share are, are to be reduced to rupees 75 per share fully paid the equity shares to be reduced to rupees 37.50 debenture holders took over the stocks in trade and the book debts in full satisfaction of the amount due to them the freehold properties to be depreciated by 50 percent the value of the plan and machinery to be increased by 50,000 right of goodwill and pnl account so as then I told you that in the adjustment also given the last adjustment to writing of the goodwill and PN account. In question they have asked that pass the general entries. Now one by one we will see that. So the first transaction is that the preference share to be reduced to be 75 per shares fully paid. So here the entry will be we just pass the general entries. So general entries. Okay. First entry is that. Now preference shares, if you see that total 11.5%, 2011.5% preference shares are there and it is reduced to 75 per share. Now it means the value of the preference shares will be 75 and it is reduced by 25. So the company has reduced the preference share capital by rupees 25. So that will be transferred to the capital direction account. I told you that a capital direction is account is a nominal account. So the rule of the nominal account is that the debit all expenses and losses and credit all income and gains. So here in this transactions or the first scheme, the company has been uh, get the gain as in reducing the liability towards the preferential holders. So we'll write the entry which is related to that 11.5 percent preferential capital account debit to 11.5 percent preference share capital account debit credit and to to capital reduction account to capital reduction account the values will be total shares are 2000 and the value was 100 so 2000 into 100 that is a 2 lakh the price of the share is in a reduced to 75 so now the value is in a 75 so 2000 into 75 and it is reduced by 25 so 2000 into 25 so we will get the calculation see 2000 and 75 so 2000 into 75 that is a 1 lakh 50000 Okay, one lakh fifty thousand and two thousand into twenty five. That is enough fifty thousand. So that is enough fifty thousand is the value. So this is enough first entry. That is enough being preference shares is reduced by rupees twenty five per share. So this is the first entry which we have to pass. Second entry. See. 
second equity share to be reduced to rupees 37.50 now equity share is in a value is of 100 it is reduced to 37.50 it means the new value is in a 37.50 so it is reduced by the 62.50 see total amount was in a 100 rupees reduced by 37.50 reduced to so it is reduced by 62.5 okay so the second is an entry see here equity share capital account debit to equity share capital account debit credit sorry and to capital reduction account okay now amount we will calculate total 4000 shares are there and one share is enough for 100 the 4000 into 100 that is a 4 lakh okay 4 lakh okay and it is reduced to 37.50 so the value is in a 37.50 is there new value so that is the one one lakh fifty thousand is there okay One lakh fifty thousand, and there is a four thousand into thirty seven point five, and it is reduced by sixty two point five. The so four thousand into sixty two point five, so two lakh fifty thousand, two lakh fifty thousand. See again, I am explaining that. The entry is equity share capital account debit to equity share capital to capital reduction account. The value of the share was in 100, so 4000 into 100 is in a 4 lakh. The new value of the equity share is in a 37.5 per share, so 4000 into 37.5, 150000. And the amount which has been reduced per equity share, that is a 62.5, so it is transferred to the capital reduction account. So capital reduction account is credited by the 250000. So here this is the second entry being equity share is reduced by rupees 62.50 per shares so this is a second value entry okay so I, I hope you understood this both the entry then third the debenture holders took over the stock in trade and the balance debts in full satisfaction of the amount due to them this is called as an settlement of the debentures now debentures total is an uh, total 16 percent mortgage debenture is one lakh now mortgage debentures or debenture holders took over the stock and that book debt book debt that is the data <coughs> in full satisfaction it means after this they are not having any claim towards the debentures okay so we will settle the claim of the debenture holders so here the third entry is that see 16% mortgage debenture okay sorry 16% mortgage debenture to now what is they have taken the stock to debtors okay now see total mortgage debenture was 1 lakh okay that is a 1 lakh see and stock is in a 50,000 debtors is in a 40,000 so 1 lakh is there okay stock is in a 50 and debtors 40,000 stock 50,000 and debtors 40,000 now you see that total debentures claim is 1 lakh out of that the stock has been taken over for which 50,000 data was a 40,000 total 90,000 is there so it means as per the book value we are uh, giving the 90,000 rupees asset to the debenture holders it means still 10,000 rupees is there 
now it is in a full settlement so we are not going to pay anything after this so 10000 we are uh, we are not giving to the debenture holders it means that amount of the claim has been reduced ultimately it is a gain to the company so it is transferred to the capital reduction account so capital reduction account is credited to capital reduction account that is in a 10000 so here being 16% mortgage debenture settled settled by taking over stock and debtors stock and debtors okay so this is in a third entry now next the freehold property is to be depreciated by 50 percent so there is an asset has been there is a freehold property to like which is depreciated by 50 percent it means by 1 lakh rupees now when there is a depreciation in the asset so that is a loss for the company so the capital reduction account will be debited so the entry will be capital reduction account debit to freehold property okay the value will be 2 lakh was there into 50 percent so that is a 1 lakh and 1 lakh okay so the free world property is depreciated by 50 percent okay now next the value of the plant and machinery to be increased by 50,000 now plant which is in a total plant and machinery was a 3 lakh out of that 50,000 is increased it means the value of the plant and machinery is increased in the books of account so therefore it is in a transport gain and which is transferred to the capital reduction account so the whenever there is an increase in the value of the liability so it will be debited so entry will be sorry fifth entry plant and machinery account debit to capital reduction account okay that is enough 50,000 being value of plant and machinery is increase by 50,000 so this is enough entry for the increasing the plant and machinery further write off the goodwill and PL number so but obviously this is the last adjustment okay so we have to write off the <coughs> goodwill and PL account but first of all we have to check out the balance in the capital reduction account okay so wherever the capital reduction account is credited we have to add back add it and wherever it is debited we have to uh, reduce it so we will calculate it at just a moment i just insert one minute. see we have to find out the balance of the capital reduction account okay so capital reduction account balance will check it okay see am i writing here capital reduction account balance okay now so see capital reduction account here the capital reduction is cre credited by 50000 here credited by 250000 so credit balance we will see that see credit 50000 150000 then sorry 250000 250000 then further in this entry 10000 is credited so 10000 then in case of the plant and machine credited by 50000 so 50000 is there so total is there 360000 that is the credit and debit is there see in the case of the debit pre old property is there where the capital reduction account is debited see here okay so one lakh 
so one lakh will be there so we will deduct and we'll get the balance of the capital deduction two lakh sixty thousand is the balance of the capital deduction account so we'll just write down the entry next entry further fix one capital reduction account three lakh sixty thousand now we have to write up the pn account now what is the balance of the pn account see pn account is having the balance two lakh forty five thousand okay and goodwill fifteen thousand okay so two lakh forty five thousand is there and goodwill fifteen thousand if you see the total okay if you see the total it is a tally it means the gap reduction account three lakh sixty thousand to pl account two forty lakh two lakh forty five thousand and goodwill fifteen thousand it means there is no balance in the capital reduction account so we know that suppose there is no balance in the capital reduction account then <coughs> it means the uh, whatever the tangible intangible asset and the pl account debit balance which is fully right off if there is a balance in the capital reduction is there then in that case it will be transferred to the capital reduction account so hence it is ended over so here the narration will be being uh, pl account debit balance and goodwill right off okay so this is an entry we have to pass that so these are the entries are there capital reduction account and the balance of the pl account goodwill is match so there is no balance remain okay so this is then a call this is then a general entries which has been passed in the books account first entry is then a see preference shares has to be reduced by 75 per share fully paid up entry was preference share account debit to preference share capital account debit to capital reduction account then the equity share has been reduced then equity share capital account debit to equity share capital to capital reduction account that is enough and mortgage debenture is there so 16 percent mortgage debenture to stock debtors and the balance is there that is the capital reduction account 10,000 then there is an uh, decrease in the value of the pre-old property by 50 percent the entry was in a capital reduction account debit to pre-old property and increase in the value of the machinery the entry is in a planned and machinery to capital reduction account then we have calculated the balance which is remaining to the capital reduction account so that is the three lakh sixty thousand so out of that balance we are right of the pn account two lakh forty five thousand and goodwill fifteen thousand so these are the entries which is related to the uh, capital reduction okay now in this uh, there we will prepare the capital reduction account also so i just prepare the capital reduction account see capital reduction account we have to prepare so we'll transfer the entry first entry is then a 11 point preference share capital account debit to 11.5 percent preference share capital to capital reduction account so we'll transfer this entry okay so here the by 11 point percent preference share capital account the balance was in a 50,000 then second entry is that equity share capital to equity share to capital reduction account so again equity share capital to like 50,000 so by equity share capital to like 50,000 okay then third entry 16 percent mortgage debenture to stock to debtors to capital reduction so here by 16 percent mortgage debenture 10,000 and last entry pnl account debit uh, sorry capital reduction to pre-hold property 1 lakh so here this entry is in a two pre-hold property debited 1 lakh then plan and machinery to capital reduction so by plan and machinery 50,000 and last entry capital reduction account debit to pnl account 2 lakh 45,000 and to goodwill 15,000 if you take the balance so 2 lakh 45,000 plus 15,000 that is a 260 plus 1 lakh 3 lakh 60,000 correct and here also it is a balance of 2 lakh 60,000 just a moment see the balance of the uh, capital reduction 2 lakh 60,000 So that is a two lakh sixty thousand actually. So we'll get a total two fifty plus fifty three lakh. Okay, plus ten thousand. 
प्लस फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो थ्री लैक्स सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इज देर ओके सी सिक्स एंट्री से कैपिटल डक्शन अकाउंट डिबिट टू पी एल अकाउंट डिबिट विल एक्चुअल द बैलेंस इज टू लैक्स सिक्सटी थाउजेंड वी रॉन्गली वी मेंशन थ्री लैक्स सिक्सटी थाउजेंड विच इज एन एक्चुअली टू लैक्स सिक्सटी थाउजेंड आउट ऑफ दैट पी ले पी एल अकाउंट टू फोर्टी फाइव एंड द गुड विल इज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सो हियर वी इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी पास द जनरल एंट्रीज इन द बुक्स ऑफ द कंपनी एंड ऑल्सो द वी प्रिपेयर द कैपिटल डक्शन अकाउंट ओके थैंक यू